like to come over to the uh, CAAI and it's not my first time. I like this kind of uh, congress with the combination of basic science and um, practical um, things and uh, treatment and I uh, find it interesting, uh, very, very much interesting every time I'm here. I'm personally, I'm interested in HAE. I'm uh, running, um, I'm uh, uh, leading um, uh, an ambulance for, uh, for uh, several hundred uh, HAE patients in um, Mainz in Germany in our uh, outpatient service and uh, we are tre uh, treating them for a long time already and become, uh, the patient become more and more uh, um, in, in the time. There are a lot of uh, guidelines and uh, treatment recommendations for HAE uh, patients uh, uh, in, uh, a guideline from the World Allergy Organization uh, will appear, then there are guidelines from the uh, HAE um, uh, International Patient uh, Organization, US Patient Organization, national guidelines, we have a German uh, guideline uh, also, but more or less uh, the issues are the same, treatment for acute attacks or prophylaxis and in special cases a short-term prophylaxis uh, before surgery and uh, so on. So uh, the recommendation for treating uh, acute attacks um, vary a little bit between different countries because uh, not in all uh, countries are the same uh, drugs available. For instance, in Europe we have for the, uh, the treatment of uh, acute attacks available uh, C1 inhibitor uh, concentrate, that means uh, human uh, plasma derived uh, C1 inhibitor. We have um, available um, um, Ecatiband, uh, bradykinin, bradykinin B2 receptor uh, antagonist. Uh, we have available um, uh, Ruconest, which is a recombinant C1 inhibitor, but we have not available uh, ecalantide um, as in the States, for instance. And we have available um, for um, prophylaxis um, the C1 inhibitor concentrate, um, and we have available tranexamic acid and the um, androgens. Tranexamic acid is not used very much in, in, in Europe and I personally uh, didn't use it for, for that, at least for that indication. These are, this is our arsenal uh, which, which we have for uh, uh, this um, uh, disease. Um, but in, um, in, in practice there are a lot of other, other measures uh, necessary, not just only prescribing a drug for these patients. I think um, we have, until now, we have no ideal treatment uh, uh, for this disease. Uh, the treatment improved considerably in the last few years, um, um, especially in the States, but also in other countries and also in Germany. Uh, we have more uh, uh, treatment options available, uh, but uh, until now we have no ideal uh, treatment. An ideal treatment would be a prophylaxis with no side effects so that, um, uh, so that all attacks can be avoided. Um, but this is at the moment not, uh, not possible. A few drugs are uh, in the pipeline and I hope that there will be further developments in the next few or more years uh, that we have more uh, treatment option for this disease which, which is a, a really heavy burden for many patients um, concerning the potentially life-threatening laryngeal edema and all, uh, also the other uh, disabling attacks like um, abdominal pain attacks which are so severe as renal colics and um, uh, the skin spellings are disabling also.